Hello all, today in this video I am going to provide details regarding and demo video for attack classification in python already we have done with the same data set for machine learning algorithms but in this uh, demo we are going to work with some deep learning algorithms and in this particular demo with the artificial neural networks from scratch. Uh, so for that we are just importing what are the libraries we are going to use like sklearn, keras layers, then uh, keras callbacks, keras utils, then uh, uh, sklearn metrics, then sklearn linear model, then seaborn, iteration tools, pantas and numpy. So these are the libraries which we are going to use in our work. Then the data set uh, for x data, uh, x variable and y variable. For y variable we have just created a a separate csv file and for the x variable apart from that the every data set has been uh, selected uh, so uh, this work is an eight classes work so it has nearly eight classes and we are then normalizing it, our data set and our calling or shape so these are the variables which is found in the x variable so you can see from source ip source port so these are the variables or features which is found in the x variable then we are also finding the shape of the y variable and how many classes it is having as i said it is having nearly eight classes that is from zero to seven uh, then we are just declaring the variables like x train x test y train and y test by using the train test split uh, library and using the variables like normalized df and y and the test size here we have declared as 0 0.20 which is 8020 that is 80 percent for training and 20 percent for testing if you want so a different uh, size for uh, training and testing means here you have to just change the test size and then we are just uh, importing the layers of the artificial neural network from scratch for that we are importing the libraries which is adam the layers which we are using the in artificial neural network is two dense layers and the initial sequential layer in the first dense layer the hidden number units is 11 and the activation we are using was relu and the input dimensions is 69 the 69 is from the data set the 69 uh, value if you found means it will be found in the data set that is one we are using over here uh, then the uh, dense layer and last dense layer we are giving us eight since we are having eight classes and the activation we have selected as softmax uh, then we are our uh, training our model by using the compile function here we are choosing the optimizer as adam but we are not using the default op optimizer as it is we have just changing the learning rate which is lr so if you want a different learning rate means also you can change but yeah or if you want to use the same default uh, uh, python uh, optimizer also means you can also use as it is as per your wish then the loss we are cho choosing as categorical cost entropy and the metrics as accuracy then we are training our function by using the fit function and for this we are calling the variables like the x train y train and the approaches we are running for 10 approaches so if you want some other approaches means you have to just change this in this line the number of approaches which you are desired and then the batch size also we have declared as 32 the validation data we have called as x test and the y test then we are just training our data set for 10 approaches here you can see we are obtained value for loss accuracy validation loss and validation accuracy for a better system then compared to law validation accuracy and accuracy the validation accuracy should show better results and also the when comparing loss and validation loss the validation loss will only show better results like it should be only lower than the loss so you can notice that the validation loss is lower than loss and also the validation accuracy is lower than uh, accuracy so it is a better system but uh, to uh, make it as a better system we have to compare with some other deep learning algorithms like cnn or lstm or some other deep learning algorithms so after that what we can conclude that this is the best deep learning algorithm we are just using uh, then 
we are also declaring the parameters for classification report that is precision recall f1 score support micro average macro average weighted average and sample average since we are having eight classes from zero to seven we are displaying the values for precision recall f1 score and support so in the next video we will show the uh, scratch board for cnn uh, with the same data set so if you are in search of some other uh, demo video means uh, please make a comment in the comment box so if you are uh, aware of it means we will make a video regarding that thank you